Welcome back to Airgun Academy. In previous episodes, we looked at multi-pump pneumatics and single-stroke pneumatics. That leaves just one last type of pneumatic air gun to talk about. The pre-charge pneumatic. Pre-charge pneumatics, which are also called PCPs, are the oldest type of air gun power plant. They date as far back as the mid-1500s. Those old guns lasted all the way up to the start of the 20th century and were nearly always large calibers. In fact, 40 to 75 caliber was the norm. Also, many of those guns did not have rifled barrels. The manufacture of pre-charged pneumatics stopped after World War I. In 1980, Daystate, an English company, revived them. This time around, pre-charged pneumatics were made in small bore 22 and 177 calibers. Small bore pre-charged pneumatics are very popular with today's shooters because they don't require special holding techniques in order to be accurate. Plus, they have almost no recoil. Today, I'm going to show you a very special PCP. This is the Benjamin Discovery. It's special because it was designed for the new PCP shooter. It's easier to fill from a hand pump and it's very affordable. When we say an air gun is pre-charged, it means that the compressed air has been put into the gun before it's shot. Instead of working a pump handle a few times for every shot, I'm gonna pump a lot of air into this reservoir. That'll give me about 25 good shots before it needs to be recharged. To start the process, first you have to remove this plastic fill cap. Underneath is this male foster fitting. The compressed air is put in here. Now, we could always fill this rifle with a tank of compressed air, like a scuba tank for example. For our illustration, I'm going to use this hand pump. The Benjamin Discovery operates on a fill pressure of 2,000 pounds per square inch. That might sound high, but keep in mind that most PCPs require 3,000 pounds per square inch. The lower pressure requirement makes the Discovery much easier to fill using this hand pump. To fill the air gun with 2,000 pounds per square inch, it takes about 125 pump strokes. Now this gun is full of compressed air and ready for 25 powerful shots. As you can see, there's a pressure gauge on the underside of the air rifle. This gauge indicates the state of the air pressure inside the reservoir. This way, you can see at a glance how pressurized the gun is. This is a gun that you should leave charged at all times. Doing so keeps dusty air out of the reservoir, which in turn preserves all the seals. Surprisingly, the Benjamin Discovery can stay charged for years. Now that it's full, let's go take some shots. Come on. As I mentioned earlier, there's absolutely no recoil with this air gun. And you'll be amazed at the accuracy. If I had a scope mounted on this air gun, I could shoot five shot groups, smaller than one inch, at 50 yards with good pellets. Now that's impressive. When the onboard gauge shows about 1,000 PSI, it's time to refill the rifle. At that point, you'll only have to pump 50 times or less to fill the rifle because you're not starting from empty like we did earlier. 
The Benjamin Discovery not only operates on high pressurized air, but also carbon dioxide, or CO2. So if you don't mind shooting a little slower, you can get about 100 shots per fill out of the bulk CO2 tank. And remember, you can leave the Benjamin Discovery charged at all times. You'll be ready for action when those pests invade the garden or start robbing the bird feeder. Pre-charged pneumatics are accurate, easy to fill, inexpensive, and they get a ton of shots per fill. In addition to the Benjamin Discovery, there are dozens of other PCP rifles to choose from, as well as PCP pistols. If you want the most accurate air gun, try out a pre-charged pneumatic today. Thanks for watching Airgun Academy. Stay tuned for another great lesson from Pyramid Air.